Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so on today's video, um, it was supposed to be a hurdles and shot put practice, um, but I was just editing the footage from last week today and I can't seem to find it like at all. So yeah, I imported this stuff, but I have no clue where it went. Um, so instead, I guess I'm just going to combine or I'm going to talk about what that practice was and combine it with the weekend's vlog. Um, so on Thursday, we had sh uh, hurdles and shot put. So um, I kind of, let me sit down. So for Thursday, it was kind of like a meat prep day because I was doing those same events in Windsor on um, Saturday. So the workout was like one over one, one over two, and then a couple runs over four hurdles. Um, so I have that footage now. So I'll show you right after this. And then we did some shot put and that's the stuff that I kind of lost, the GoPro stuff. Um, so it was just like a couple throws from stand, a couple glide to powers, and then a couple full throws, so nothing crazy. Um, it went pretty pretty well, um, but yeah, I'll show you the hurdle stuff right now, and then I'll uh, touch back with you after. Okay, so after that practice, um, I kind of just talked about how it was. So hurdles went really well. Um, I'm still kind of losing my trail leg. So you might've seen it in a couple clips, like it comes like really high and wide. Um, so the focus for Saturday in Windsor was just to like stay forward, stay like really tight and keep that trail leg. Um, and then in shot put was just to try to use my legs as much as possible. So fast forward, um, two days we just did a competition warm-up on Friday so nothing crazy and then on Saturday we both competed roughly at the same time in the afternoon um, and then uh, yeah we talked quickly about where we are and then uh, and then we get into it and then I'll talk to you after the hurdle race so here we go competition on Saturday Windsor welcome to vlogging a track meet in 2021 where everything is complicated. And you can't be in the track meet. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you can't be in the track meet. You can't actually be there. Yeah, you're not even allowed to go into the stadium until like an hour before your event. Yeah, so the COVID track meet protocols in Ontario are, you can only have like a certain amount of people inside of the stadium and it's like, just like an open field right in front of us that has like a tiny little chain link fence around it it's weird I was talking to <coughs> Ryan about it that like just having like a little chain link fence determines like how many people can be inside of there even though like there's no difference in between like one side of the fence and the other so I don't know whatever but we got to do what they ask so um, we can only enter 
about an hour before our event starts to do our warm up and then the time like to do our technical stuff. Uh, so care starts at um, 4.15. Yeah, 4.15, so um, she's allowed in at 3. And then I throw shot put at 4.45, so I'm allowed in at 3.30. It's 2.36 right now. So we're just kind of chilling in the car, trying to stay cool. Um, and we both kind of did like a shakeout this morning. Not like a huge one, but just kind of got our bodies moving around. Um, because we knew we couldn't really do much. Um, we'll have plenty of time once we get in there to do everything we need. And it's warm, so we're not going to need a huge amount. This person has driven in front of us twice. And there's a very small parking lot. I'm sorry that there's probably not going to be a lot of footage of the actual meet because we can't watch each other, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to throw the GoPro up at Chop Put. Um, and then if we can get some footage of Care's jumps on like a cell phone or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't even know how I'm going to film the hurdle race. I don't even know if this is going to work. Ooh, this might not be a vlog. Yeah. <laughs> And welcome back again to the backyard. Um, so shot put went well. Um, I didn't really talk too much or I didn't talk like at all because it's kind of like it's just kind of weird. You don't know where you can be. People are asking you to kind of go a certain way. So it's just anyways, I didn't talk, but shot put went well. Um, 15, 19, I believe it was. Um, so like a pretty average throw for me. Um, I was hitting good positions, but I feel like I was just missing that little bit of pop uh, because those same positions that I've hit before in other competitions, like I've thrown a lot further. Um, so yeah, it was a good competition. Um, had my three best throws in the first round, like first three throws. So that's good for a decathlete um, because you can't be waiting until like round six because we don't have a round six. Um, so that went well. And then I had about an hour wait until hurdles. Um, so the hurdle warm up went really well. Um, sorry, there's no footage of anything because I can't really, couldn't really set up the camera anywhere. Um, so I just did a general warm up after shot put just went over some hurdles for hurdle drills and then in the actual workout or not workout sorry um, when I got onto the track um, I did like one stride as in like going out of the blocks like running as fast as I can just to like 20 so then I did a couple runs just playing over hurdles with five stride just to like kind of feel the hurdles in this in my spikes and then um, I did one run over one hurdle 
and then one run over three hurdles and they both felt really good. I was just really trying to stay like forward off the hurdle and not like pop up once I got over the hurdle. Um, so Vicky said that was probably my best like two reps of hurdles that I've had at any point. Um, so I felt good. I just told myself like get out really well and just like stay forward, stay focused. Um, So, like you saw in the race, I feel like I got out pretty well, um, had a first couple hurdles were really good, and then closer to the end, so like probably from hurdle like 7 to 10, um, I just kind of lost it a little bit, um, clipped a couple hurdles, I don't think it hindered me too much, um, it more hindered me that I was kind of popping up, um, and then uh, I just kind of fell off a little bit, um, but yeah, that's a PB. 14 uh 18 my old pb was 1428 from 2017 so caro did triple jump she is not very happy with her last couple meets um her approach has been feeling weird um she's feeling a little discouraged uh she jumped 13 21 um but yeah she's just not really feeling like herself so we're trying to maybe figure something out um, but it's kind of the nature of the sport and uh, yeah that's just unfortunate but I'm confident that we'll figure it out um, but it is hard to go through that but that is it for the vlog so thanks so much for watching all the way to the end if you made it this far um, don't forget to like subscribe um, Caro is jumping in Guelph on Wednesday this week and I have a small little competition in pole vault on Thursday so I'll film that scroll down hit that red button and uh, yeah we'll see you guys in the next one Bye.